The purpose of this lab is to determine the concentration of acetic acid in a brand of vinegar by titrating it with sodium hydroxide. This will be done by adding a known amount of standardized sodium hydroxide solution to the vinegar to cause a color change in the indicator. The color change indicates that the end point of the titration has been reached. Using the brand of vinegar assigned to you by your TA, dispense approximately 15 to 20 milliliters into a 50 milliliter beaker. Using a volumetric pipette, transfer 10 milliliters of the vinegar solution into a 100 milliliter volumetric flask. It is important to note when dispensing the vinegar into the volumetric flask that the tip of the pipette should be touching the side of the flask. Using a wash bottle, fill the volumetric flask with distilled water until the solution is 1 to 2 centimeters below the mark. Then, using a pasture pipette, carefully fill the rest of the volumetric flask with distilled water until the bottom of the meniscus sits on the mark. Using a 25 milliliter volumetric pipette, transfer a 25 milliliter aliquot of the vinegar solution to a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. Remember that you should never pipe out from the stock or a volumetric flask directly. Therefore, pour approximately 50 milliliters of the stock solution into a beaker before pipetting. Then, add two drops of the indicator to the vinegar and wash down the sides of the flask with some distilled water using the wash bottle. In this experiment, the end point will be detected using phenolphthalein as the indicator, which is colorless in acidic solutions and pink in basic solutions. Before we start the titration, we need to ensure that the burette is clean. First, carefully clamp the burette to a retort stand and place a funnel at the top. We clean the burette to avoid contamination. To do so, ensure that the valve is closed and add a small amount of distilled water. For a 50 ml burette, approximately 10 ml of water should be enough. During each rinse, release some water through the valve to ensure the bottom part of the burette is also cleaned. Repeat the rinse two more times. Following this, repeat this process with the solution which will fill the burette. Now that your burette is cleaned and coated, you can begin the titration. With the valve closed, fill the burette with your solution. Make sure the top of the burette is at eye level. Then, release the valve to dispense some of the solution into a waste beaker to remove any air bubbles present in the tip. Make sure that the solution is filled to within the burette gradations. Any liquid above the zero mark will not be accounted for when determining the dispensed volume. Begin titrating your vinegar sample by adding the sodium hydroxide solution. Make sure that you are constantly swirling the flask while dispensing. For proper titration technique, watch our video on using a burette. Occasionally rinse the walls of the Erlenmeyer flask Remember that increasing the volume of your solution will not affect the total number of moles of acid already in the flask. Once the light pink color becomes more persistent, begin adding the sodium hydroxide drop by drop. The end point is reached when you see the slightest permanent sign of pink. It should be very light and very pale. The equivalence point is the point at which the number of moles of acid and base are equal. But, it is important to note that the end point and the equivalent point are not the same, since an excess amount of base is required to react with the indicator in order to generate the color change. For any titration, the indicator must be carefully chosen so that the equivalence point and end point are as close as possible. Read the volume of standardized sodium hydroxide used to the nearest 0.05 milliliter and record it in the chart in your notebook. A deep pink color indicates that you over titrated. If you are adding the sodium hydroxide drop by drop and recording your volumes after each addition, you can go back to your previous volume immediately prior and use it as your endpoint. Repeat the procedure for another two samples of the same vinegar brand for a total of three samples. Use the first titration volume that you obtained as an estimate for how much sodium hydroxide you need to add to reach the endpoint for your next two samples. This will help you do the titration quicker. Also, based on that volume, make sure you have enough sodium hydroxide in your burette before beginning the next titration.